We've been having a lot of questions about this growing season and the potential problems with infestation of molds and potential mycotoxins. We've seen a spring that's been pretty wet and with mild temperature. So this has resulted in a delay of the planting, especially the corn. In terms of controlling the weeds, it's not as negative because they'll be emerged already, but then it will be an extra challenge in terms of the insect control. More insect damage, also combined with the temperatures, the humidity, physical damage, will lead to more mold contamination. Make sure that you monitor the weather and you scout the field to have an idea how bad the infestation might be. During the growing season, for instance, if the conditions are warm, it's more likely to have problems with aflatoxins. And if the conditions are cooler, then it's more likely to have issues with fusarium toxins. Example, D2, Don, and Xyrelanol. Under these challenge conditions, we recommend the use of Lactobacillus buchneri 40788, applied at a high rate of 400,000 colony form units per gram of fresh forage, which is the only one approved by the FDA to improve aerobic stability of silages. This is done by the production of moderate amounts of acetic acid that inhibits the spoilage yeasts. In addition, opportunistic microorganisms are also inhibited, like molds. For example, research from the University of Florida showed that ensiling a rust-infected corn led to the production of as much as five parts per million of aflatoxins in the silage. When the corn was inoculated with Elbuchnorai 40788, there were no aflatoxins produced.